Birds are faggots. Useless. Really are. You know, this is how stupid they are. It, when they're in the cage, if you throw like a towel over it, they think it's night. <laughs> <laughs> how do you not just kill those things on principle? <laughs> Bunch of dopes. <laughs> <laughs> How do they survive and morph from dinosaurs to become such dopes? <laughs> a pillowcase makes it nighttime. It's five. <laughs> it's it's four in the afternoon. Pillow. Oh, well, it's dark. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, my fourth bird, a little fellow was sick today. We had to... <laughs> We had to rush him to the bird hospital. There's only one in the country. We allowed, him out of the we allowed him out of the cage for the day. We thought that would make him a little happier. Yeah, we tried to free him, and instead of being grateful and landing on our shoulder, he flew against the window until he almost died to get away. I will fucking... I, let me tell I will throw a Molotov cocktail through Peter's window right now. I've always supported them because I misunderstood what they were about. They show all those videos of the fucking slaughterhouses. I thought that was to advocate it. <laughs> like, look, this stuff's tasty. I've been sending them money. Like, I thought they were supporting KFC. <laughs> They're too mild on those chickens. They live spoiled lives. All animals should be treated like veal. <laughs> There's no reason I should have to bite into a sinewy burger because this thing had to run around the yard. Are we getting the pilot Chesley Sullenberger in for his new book uh, called One Decision, Three I Pages? <laughs> <laughs> I hit birds. I landed. <laughs> Epilogue. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, I knew it was going to be a special day. I had my coffee. All right. This is You've got a book out? This yes. Is, yes, this is why I hate saying yes to all these guest pitches. He'll be fun, though. He'll be fun if we get him. We're what? obviously not getting him. This is the days in town. Oh. What is the uh, thing called? The book? I don't know. It's called uh, Fuck Geese. <laughs> oh, no, it's actually called Geese or Cunts. <laughs> <laughs> Captain uh, Chesley Sully Sullenberger with his new book, Geese Are Cunts. Uh, thank you for joining us, Captain. <laughs> thank you, miss. It's in the middle, there's pictures where you can just look at him hitting geese with golf clubs <laughs> yeah. and fucking kicking him in their little geese asses. You, you see, a, you see a, a little sad goose with a boot in the middle of his body? <laughs> Old Chesley taking care of goose business. Chesley hates the geese. Despises them. <laughs> Half the book is goose recipes. <laughs> things, <laughs> things you can make like dog food and cat food out of geese carcasses. <laughs> he, he despises geese. <laughs> Chesley. Yes. Hey. So I guess we're not getting uh, getting him on the show? Oh, no. He would not come on this program. Wait, what's the name of the book? Highest, Highest Duty. Duty. Highest, Highest Duty. Duty. <laughs> it's about someone who left an upper decker <laughs> in his toilet. <laughs> he had a friend come over yeah. and shit in a septic tank. <laughs> they buy the book and it has nothing to do with that faith <laughs> fateful day. <laughs> I'll tell you. Highest Duty. It's what was in the pilot and co-pilot seat right after they hit that water. <laughs> well, Highest Duty is whichever copy of that book is on the top of the pile. <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> that book is gonna fucking stink. <laughs> Highest duty. Uh, a he just boy made it a, a boar fest. <laughs> a willful boy saying it should be more than just the crash. <laughs> <laughs> we, were, we were joking about fucking that guy today. He'll start. Uh, he'll start off. David with, Tyree, right? He'll yeah. start off with the fuck. He'll start off talking about the crash, and then he'll go into his fucking awful, boring life. Uh, uh, you know, me and my wife met back in. Oh, who cares? On, exactly. Forward for and then you just keep flipping through the pages until yeah, you, you see plane crash. You look for a picture of of a goose like with a, a startled look on his face. <laughs> Hopefully the passenger got a picture of it. <laughs> well, the geese went through the engines and, uh... You think the goose would look startled? <laughs> yes, it would. <laughs> and how does the goose look startled? I don't know. His eyes bug out. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, actually, you don't know that, but goose have hands and they do this. <laughs> 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 oh, his book is gonna be... Oh. I wish we had a copy of it. It's gonna be fucking terrible. Yeah, gotta see that. You're right, though. It'll start out... <laughs> You know, I was on the runway. It'll start yeah. all that, that, and then and then it'll yeah. 
kind of do a, a flashback for for two hundred pages and yeah. finally tell us what happened. Well, he'll say like, "Yeah, we're on the runway. All was ready to go. We're taking off. We're flying. It's a lovely day." And then the thud. Chapter two. My mom and daddy bitch <laughs> <laughs> on a clan rally. Right. No one cares. Right. Two hundred <laughs> pages of horse shit. Uh, gives a shit. Right. Yeah. My fuck co-pilot back was in prison for trading inappropriate uh, photo. Right? Could someone go it's highest duty? What uh, my search for what? Really matters. Oh. Um, oh. The fucking the landing flaps, yeah. asshole. About a runway. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. There was Peterborough and Newark, and you hit the fucking river, you cunt. <laughs> Thanks for nothing, shit dick. <laughs> My shoes got wet. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> My search for what really matters: uh, hats and shitty mustaches. <laughs> Apparently made your list. <laughs> fucking mustaches and raging. <laughs> really. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Now, Carrie. He was actually gunning for that one goose who owed him money. <laughs> <laughs> Something about a golden egg. He wouldn't be specific. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie, what do you got? Good evening. Hi. Hi, Carrie. Question for you guys. You're begging the shit out of them, which was not what you did the day after this shit happened. Right. You guys get on the plane. You, Jimmy. Who you want flying the fucking thing? The goose killer? Mohammed Atta. <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> We're just having fun. <laughs> I actually just taped uh, taped that show for MTV. I taped MTV, MTV Made. Have you seen that? I would think no, what is it that. about? M A I D. M A D E. Oh, okay. Yeah, with uh, the difference. I know what you're talking about. Actually, <laughs> it's one of the shows on MTV that actually is. I don't mind because they do try to help out. Yeah, they'll get like um, a fat gay kid and yeah. try to help him play football and, and slap him and put his face in a <laughs> pussy. And say, do a sit up. That's how they help him. Eat a pussy and do crunches. <laughs> Scheduling problems. That makes me sick. Yeah. What's his, what's his real name again, Norton? Oh, it's horrendous. <laughs> It, 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 it should be followed by, and you're calling Dell customer service. <laughs> uh, Manaj, Nelly Yatu, Shyamalan. It's just Y. There's a Y and an M. It's horrendous. M. Knight. Ooh, how cool. Sounds like what Bruce Campbell had to say in uh, Evil Dead. <laughs> Manaj, Nelly Yatu, Necktie. Exactly. How's that feel, idiot? Your name is a prayer in Necronomic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Yes, the prayer. Oh, oh no, I can't stand no, no, no. It's so funny. He doesn't like M Night Shyamalan. <laughs> his like for real. His first movie was so good. It was amazing. And he has. I, he just, what was his first movie? Again? Uh, Six Sense. He Sixth did Sense. one before that, but no one really saw. Oh, it. did he really? It was. So was, you started hating him because his movie stunk. After the Village, I want to spit in his face. I don't like Joaquin Phoenix because he whispers everything. And I just think he's horrendous. You don't think he was good in Gladiator? I don't remember when Gladiator. Yeah, Gladiator. Was that was a good movie. He was a king in Black Gladiator. Yeah, it was yeah, pretty good was in pretty Gladiator. Good. Is, that, is that where the man with the sword stabbed him, like right above the gum line? <laughs> <laughs> but how did I, I fucked up already? The first guest I booked. You're not good. You're not good with organizing things. No, you're good with uh, talking, and 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 being funny. And and picking up trannies. I'm good. I'm good with getting loads off the floor before my <laughs> girlfriend gets home. I tell you, never tell you the time. I don't even know if I, you remember this. I'm coming back from a stress factory uh, in the car with the uh, MC. He's driving me back in the city. It's two thirty in the morning. We're driving through the Holland Tunnel. We come up through the meatpacking district. We're at a light. We're seeing all these little just she males. Just I mean, just she males everywhere in the meatpacking district. And uh, the guy leans over to me he goes let me ask a question I go what's that he goes does Jim Norton really go with she males I look honest to God to the car to the left of us and who's in the car with his head just peering around like a like a, a submarine fucking scope looking for trannies you just sitting there 2 30 in the morning and then I yell your name and you just peeled out I, that was uh, obviously not me it was just <laughs> it was you it was, it was not only, me. it was the only bald guy with a freaking Saturn it was a Saturn <laughs> yeah. oddly enough I did own a Saturn I did own a Saturn you know how fucking glad I am nobody was in the car you know how embarrassing who was that ah, it was Bubba Smith I, he had a, a blonde wig I was taking him to a costume party tee hee <laughs> it's a true story yeah, so <laughs> you're not good. You're good. You're not good at organizing, bro. How, do, how does how does me almost being a fag not? 
<laughs> and you being a blabbermouth not qualify as me being and Amy being fucking late True. not qualify as being a good organizer. True. I'm not a good organizer. You're right. I don't know how to fucking straighten out my sexuality or my priorities. How about going home instead of trying to get blown by somebody who's even more confused than I am? All right. So you want to, speaking of Bob Newhart. <laughs> What's wrong voicemail. with you guys? We well, hate our just we alienated we like from your mom. Mommies. We like our guys that work for us to hate their moms. That's, you, you, that's pretty much almost across the board. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Does Travis hate his mother? Um, I know they don't have a good. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. yeah. Why? All right. Well, they don't have a relationship. All right. Hold on. Everyone with a mommy issue. Hold on, Travis. Everyone wow. With a mommy issue. Uh, line up. Yeah. Well. We got Dan. We got Danny. We got Travis. Who else? Sam's, fine. Sam's gotta be oh, in love, God. and she makes him fish sticks Mother or of whatever. The year, this Sam's Chicken mom. nuggets, Where's whatever the fuck E-Rock that infant is. E Rock, mommy issue? Steve's got it. Steve's got mommy issue written all over Steve, him. Steve, mommy issue. Yes, I want to be one. <laughs> <laughs> Travis, mommy issue? So, what's the mommy issue? Uh, she left seven years ago. Oh, I boy. haven't spoken to her since. Oh, why? Why did she leave? Uh, in my opinion, I think because she just had like a midlife. She had a homosexual son. No, <laughs> she saw that. She saw the Don't cat talk about my brother. <laughs> Wait, how old, Travis, are you now? I'm 27. So she was 20. You were a grown man. Do you have yeah. any younger siblings? Yeah. Yeah, but how old? But uh, he's a year younger than me. Okay, so you're both grown up. And you haven't talked oh. to your own mom in seven years? No. Why? Why? Do you know where she is? No. You don't even know where she is. No. Has Why'd she, she leave? It can't be just a midlife crisis. She never wanted you in the first place. Huh? Oh, no. Jesus. Has, um, she, has she tried to contact you? Oh, no. I, I was, when she left originally, I was the one keeping contact with her. Oh, okay. So she left, and then you were still kind of keeping contact. But she cut off contact with everyone. Oh, okay. Like me, my brother, her brother. Wow. So everyone. Did she start up a new family? Yeah. Well, what happened was she... Uh, she married um, a Jewish guy who, a Jew. who I think uh, his like uh, level of faith is to cut off your previous oh. life. Make my day, Jew. When, when you con- <laughs> when you- <laughs> did you convert? Yeah, and oh. and when you convert, I think you cut yeah. off that oh, part wow. of your life. Oh wow! All right, yeah. whoa, yeah, that so is I haven't something. Her in seven that years. doesn't sound very um, Christian. Oh. <laughs> It isn't. He obviously has a huge cock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> He's fucking... Oh. Yeah, that's what Jewish guys are known for. <laughs> 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 giant no, I, I fucking, know. That's what makes it even more amazing. He's knocking that fucking goyim pussy in the fucking next week. <laughs> <laughs> oh. his, they're all high-fiving him behind oh, his shoes. Oh, yeah. This guy okay. must be a the stud Jewish in bed that, that she's given up uh, everything for. Uh, she fucking... She, she pretty loves much the cock, Travis. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> she changed gods. Yeah. <laughs> she changed gods. She denounced <laughs> Christ. Denounced Christ, got rid of her previous family all for the car. Well, renounced. Yeah. yeah. She I fucking renounced, never denounced. looked at it that way. She fucking gave like up. Denounce. How about pronounce? Yeah. <laughs> uh, How about wow. pronounce? Like she did on that fucking <laughs> Jewish fucking clipped piece of meat. That fucking... I bet his cock is so fat it has a yarmulke. <laughs> <laughs> fucking sweaty cockhead he has. Uh, a little yarmulke. His pubes are curled like payas <laughs> around his balls. That's right. He fucking puts a little briefcase with money and he fucking handcuffs it to his cock shaft. <laughs> He's fucking... God I don't mean it. to be disrespectful to your mother. Oh, none taken. But for seven years, now. she has been taking fucking kosher seed on the fucking... <laughs> On the face and in the hair. <laughs> Sorry, man. I, I became a little right. selfish. I said, oh, man, "It's his mom." Dude. Oh, he hasn't seen her in seven years. You know what it is? It. He's she only fuck religious she women. For so when he got when he got a hold of her <laughs> and the way she like he never had a finger in his asshole before. No, but fucking boy. When when that fucking when that when that fucking Christian hand reached around, and went, yeah, he's like, "Why are you putting your finger in your mouth?" And she went, "Hold on a second, <laughs> keep your hat on, and I'll show you." <laughs> She's oh, wetting oh. her finger. Oh, oh, fucking a! She's the first one to ever pull the sheet down and expose her big tits. <laughs> Say, once you come Holy on these, sh- Morris. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> Morris. Oh, he's never had that before. Oh. <laughs> Ever. Oh. Well, let's ask Travis. Travis, does your mom have big tits? <laughs> no. Oh, no. damn. No, I bet you she got implants. I bet you <laughs> Morris likes big tits and she Morris. had them blown up. 
fuck. She's and like he's... fucking Colonel Kurtz. Yeah. <laughs> fuck the kids. <laughs> fuck that cat. Yeah. My faggot son. I got you, Dick. <laughs> Anything for you, Morris. Whatever you want, Morris. <laughs> Shoot. Dick. Tell the husband. Tell the kids. I'm never coming back. <laughs> Are you a rabbi, Willard? <laughs> I'm a oh. She likes that, huh? <laughs> wow. Is your Yeah. Th Jimmy's basically saying your mom's loose. So uh, any, no, I'm saying that she, that? No, hey, she was so taken. Years. I don't she know, maybe. She was so taken. Yeah. Like, so, like, you know what I mean? It's like a lot of times your mom and you fucking, you know, you, 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 you go through that <laughs> crisis. She's probably never had it like that. I bet if you read her diary, the first entrance was all... Oh my God! Oh my former point. God! <laughs> <laughs> oh my, you know who? <laughs> Florida Steve from Washington D.C. writes. She screams, "I want to taste my ass." <laughs> <laughs> I never had anyone go ass to mouth before. <laughs> oh, 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 Travis! Oh no! Seven I'm... years. You got married, and she didn't see you get married, huh? No. Does that bother you? No. Come on, a little bit's gotta hurt. No, so you must have not had a great relationship growing up with your mom, then. No, that's the thing, is that we had a great relationship. Oh, oh no! No, she was like, Terrible. she was like the mom, you know, like, that you want to have. Yeah. I think my brother is more affected. What did, what did daddy do to your mom? Nothing. Did you ever call her and say, did what they the get fuck a happened to They got a divorce, yeah. obviously? Mm -hmm. At what age? Uh, I was 20. Wait, divorce and then gone? Yeah. Oh. <sighs> So she, like, disowned you guys before she, you know, hooked up with this guy, unless she was seeing this guy. We don't know. Oh, I oh, see. But it was know. all yeah. very quick. So. I'm sure it was sneaky. Yeah. Think she was pregnant? <laughs> no. I don't believe that you're not hurt, though. That's, that's a very devastating thing, because mm -hmm. all of a sudden she's No, gone. I dealt with it a long time ago. Did you ever call her and just go painting what the swastikas fuck did on you synagogues? Yeah. How did you all, <laughs> deal with when it? She left. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. Nothing. But what I mean, say? Now, like seven years later. That's right. No. Like, how could you <laughs> fucking reject your children? No, I, it wasn't I will a joke. probably get in touch with her one day. <laughs> right now, my. Oh but, no, you will. But, well, what? I Good figure idea. I will one day. What was but her answer right when you now. say, "Where'd you go?" Oh, that it's none of my business. Oh, really? Yeah. How about it is? Well, yeah, exactly. Because when they were going through their divorce, I would try and. Cry in front of them to make well, it he, stop. Well, uh, oh. the 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 man that <laughs> she married. Me. Uh, luckily for her, was a divorce lawyer. <laughs> ah, a lawyer. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So uh, mm -hmm. he got mm -hmm. it into her head. He sure did. She. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your son wears a sweater with a hood. Why would you want to go back to that? Is he a boy or a girl? <laughs> Oh, he had her fucking face in legal pads. <laughs> you know, the first time she ever squirted when she came was with her fucking face on a yellow legal pad. Oh, my God. I never had liquid come out before. Is that pee? Is that pee? She panicked. She thought she pissed out her leg. I'm sorry, Travis. I know it's your fucking... <laughs> Holy shit. She thought she fucking pissed into her pantyhose and all of her shoes. <laughs> Never seen such a thing. Fred, Fred, Fred Ziffel writes, the term ATM means something totally different to Morris. <laughs> oh, she knew it too. She would talk dirty. She'd go, oh, oh, fuck me like you're representing my husband. Oh, fuck me like you're representing him. Fuck me like you're Dominic Barbara. And I'm a fucking guinea radio host. <laughs> Oh, 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 when you pull your cock out, I want half my bank account to be attached to it. <laughs> Fuck me, Morris. <laughs> Morris. Dickie Punchcock from uh, Whack Bag, right? Dickie Punchcock. I bet she likes it in the Dirty Star of David. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ryan from Cleveland. Does she stick dreidel beads in her ass? <laughs> yeah. He tore a new asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh, and he pulled his dick out of her ass, and there was a little menorah. On the <laughs> Stephen S. from <laughs> Stephen S. from Bayshore writes. They're coming in too quick now. Uh, uh, oh, good God! Uh, so so quick, I can't find it anymore. Oh well. Oh, uh, I guess Travis is wishing the tally had been six million and one. Oh, oh, oh! Now we're getting into the. Oh, yeah, gray well, area here, aren't we? <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to fire Stephen S. from Bayshore. Sorry, wow. Steven. Sorry. Uh, wow, <laughs> Travis, what the fuck? You think your dad did something that was pretty wrong that no. uh, made her mm -hmm. go like this? No, really? Yep. Mm -hmm. So dad, what's your dad Hess. doing now? 
what does he do now? Mm-hmm. Um, right now, he... The head oh, of the no. Ku Klux Klan? Yeah. <laughs> no. I, uh, <laughs> he's looking for Simon Wiesenthal. <laughs> he's the head of the Nazi party of he's America. A yeah. Huh? He's My a dad, Ivan Demyanyuk? <laughs> oh, he's a Detroit <laughs> auto worker. <laughs> Travis's dad is in radio. Did we know this? Really? No, what's he do? Travis um, Stern. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. He runs a station in Jersey. He runs a station in Jersey. What station? I'd rather not say. Oh, oh boy. No. How do we not know this? Don't t- tell me it's the FM talker. Whatever no, Jim talk- knows. How do we not know I this? I know, too. Let me, let me take a gander at this. Oh, look, I actually like that say. station yeah. a lot. Let me see. Do you? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, I did. I used to see. like it. That my first. Oh, then radio I know re- what it is. Oh no, I don't know. My first radio request was made to that station. That's how. And I know. um, and uh, I asked them to play the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald, and they never did. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. No wonder. <laughs> but yeah, the guy's name was Edmund Fitzgerald. Boy. <laughs> 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 and I suck it deep down in her asshole. <laughs> she came. <laughs> and she came like Lake Get Your Goonie. <laughs> Can you work pink sock into this, please? Please work pink sock into uh, this. Let's see. Oh, let's I gave her jaw a good knock and her ass a pink sock, <laughs> and I wiped my dick on her son's sweater. <laughs> off the cuff. Sorry. <laughs> uh, on his hoodie. <laughs> oh, poor uh, Travis. I'm sorry, buddy. Dickie Punchcock so bad. is rocking Aww. today. Yeah. One more from Dickie, like please. Little Travis. With the cat. Do you see the picture of him, yeah. Jimmy? I know. He's so tussleable. I hey, let me know. get this That's in. Sent her out. Let me get one more from Dickie Punchcock in, please. <laughs> Dickie Punchcock? He eats her ass because it smells like pennies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Well, you know what the thing was, too? Oh. That he, like, he, he was used to probably deep fucking and, and getting them to squirt because he hits like, he, he does what they call hits rock bottom. <laughs> Like, I bet you the first thing she said when they, I mean, again, I'm trying to phrase this properly. Like, the first thing while she was bent over and he's fucking deep dicked her, where she probably went like, Ugh! I never knew a cock could go that deep. <laughs> oh, my God. He hit rock bottom. Wow. Hey, the guys. Your are- pussy's as tight as my wallet? <laughs> The guys are trying to guess the call letters of the station that Travis is following. <laughs> WCKLD. <laughs> That's cuckold. <laughs> That's what this guy's got. You might oh, really? Oh, I'm not even reading. Oh, You're going to be pissed. At John from Virginia is going to be mad. John, I yeah. can't see feedback from here. No, he can't. Uh, very good, Jimmy. You nailed that one. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, Danny. So yeah. We go to Danny's mother issues. Right. Anything um, else you want to add to this, Travis? No. Yeah, I mean, you, you say all... you want to search her out at some point, though. Well, Jim asked if I want to get in touch with her. Yeah, and, and you I do. Said, I said no, not not that I do right now, but I assume that later on in life. Why would you even assume you that? You got to assume at this point she's got a seven-year-old that is named Travis. Oh, Maybe. God. <laughs> Why would they ask you to reject your former life without uh, having any feelings or anything? You wouldn't even consider that the future might hold this reunion. Is this a hopeful thing? No, to be honest with you, it's not no. something that I think about. How could you not hate her guts, even if you made oh, up with her, like, because she left her... I would, I would more like to get in touch with her to find out, like, mm. because, you know, that affected me so much when it was happening. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? oh, man. Not the divorce or not the, the remarriage, but the rejection of you and your brother. Yeah, just the rejection of everyone. Like, she hasn't spoken to her, to her own brother in seven years. Wow. You know? Did you, um, when you were growing up, did you think she was a little off? No. Wow, it's so fucked up. You never saw anything like a little different would indicate Nothing. that she was gonna. No, nobody did. I mean, was she like the regular mom? Yeah, yeah absolutely. God damn, oh, boy, yeah. boy. Never really you look at the uh, Jewish people as the ones that kind of come in and no. sweep a woman away like that. Drowned victim from Jersey writes. Uh, this is what he thinks the radio station call letters are. W, my mom left me for cut cock. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little long. <laughs> I don't think the FCC that, allows that. Put that on a bumper sticker. <laughs> oh, my God, that's it. No offense to your dad, but he's unclipped. Oh, my God, that's it. It was the first, she actually, the first thing she said was, oh, my God, it tastes so clean. <laughs> oh, fuck, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing. Oh. Don't even look at him, Jimmy. I can't. Yeah, you really can't. <laughs> He's right there, too. Very bad. Oh. Don't look to the right. I can't. He's right there. 